Hello, the Minnesota Department of Transportation in partnership with the Federal Highway Administration, the Metropolitan Council, Hennepin County, and the cities of Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Center, and Minneapolis are providing a series of introductory presentations about the environmental impact statement process for the Highway 252 I-94 corridor. This presentation is for community residents, businesses, users of the Highway 252 I-94 corridor, and for people who are simply interested in what's going on with the Highway 252 I-94 project planning. This presentation talks about key topics included in the review and consideration of the Mississippi River and surrounding areas like shoreland impacts, visual quality impacts, and community access to the river. The Highway 252 I-94 corridor follows the course of the Mississippi River between Brooklyn Park and downtown Minneapolis. Along much of this stretch, the highway is the western edge of what is called the Mississippi National River and Recreational Area, or MINRA, a recreation area that runs along the Mississippi River through the middle of the Twin Cities metropolitan area. The corridor runs within the recreation area's boundaries north and south of I-694 in Brooklyn Center and in North Minneapolis. The MINRA boundaries are also the boundaries of what is called the Mississippi River Corridor Critical Area, or MRCA a designation established in 1976 to protect natural, cultural, and scenic resources along the river. Federal, state, and local units of government work together to manage shoreland along the Mississippi River. The MINRA, a unit of the National Park Service and a federal agency, was established to oversee the protection, preservation, and enhancement of river corridor resources. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, a state agency, establishes state rules and critical area regulations that are implemented by cities through local land use plans and zoning ordinances. For the Highway 252 I-94 project area, Brooklyn Park, Brooklyn Center, and Minneapolis city ordinances guide structure setbacks, height restrictions, and other rules governing land development. During past engagement activities, participants identified concern for project impacts to the Mississippi River water quality. The Highway 252 I-94 EIS will evaluate water quality impacts to the Mississippi River by determining appropriate stormwater management practices, starting with step three of the evaluation process for each alternative that is remaining at that time. Visual quality impacts are another Mississippi River consideration factored into the Highway 252 I-94 EIS. Each city's comprehensive plan identifies public river corridor views deemed important by the local community. Local ordinances protect and regulate how these views can be impacted. Visual quality impacts of the alternatives being considered will be reviewed during phase two of evaluation step four. The public has raised questions about how connections to the river can be enhanced through this project. Multiple agencies are interested in maintaining and improving access to the river for people walking, rolling, and biking. They recognize the potential barrier created by the Highway 252 I-94 corridors. The project will explore opportunities to maintain and potentially improve access to the river throughout the Highway 252 I-94 corridor. This could take the shape of better river access and additional trail connections to the Mississippi River Trail. So how do these considerations get incorporated into a project? These considerations will be incorporated through a four-step project alternative development and evaluation process. At this time, we cannot estimate the potential impacts because we do not know what the project alternatives will look like yet. The EIS is in the early phase of identifying potential project improvements in coordination with the public. During the alternative evaluation process, evaluation criteria are used to assess Mississippi River impacts. The criteria include potential impacts to the Mississippi River Corridor Critical Area, MRCA, multimodal connections, visual quality, stormwater management, which gets at the water quality and quantity, fish and wildlife habitats, and floodplains. So that concludes this short presentation. We thank you for your interest in the Highway 252 I-94 EIS. We hope you will check out the other EIS 101 presentations available on the Highway 252 I-94 project website. They include short presentations like this one that provide background on the project or discuss other EIS process elements. You can share your comments, find out what's happening next, and stay connected through the project website. Sign up for project updates by sharing your email address with us. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.